What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be trying out some simple animation. Now this is obviously something I've never done before so I'm not really sure how this is going to go. You might find it a bit tough at the start but I mean this is how you learn I guess. Yeah, I learn the hard way so you've got to learn as well. So it, you're going to be using After Effects today. So uh, this is a simple, uh, well, it's an app that you get with the Adobe package. So if you guys are using Photoshop which I think most of you are, you should be able to use it. You can also find a crack uh, version as well, so it shouldn't be too hard to get hold of. But yeah, we're going to be using After Effects. We're going to be making this simple hello animation that I'm going to put on the screen now. Uh, yeah, it's not really not really too hard. I, I learned it pretty quick, so I'll go through it step by step, make it as simple as possible. But yeah, we're trying out something new, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Guys, so we are in After Effects now. This is obviously going to look completely, completely new for most people if you haven't uh, done After Effects. But obviously, if you're if you're used to it, then I guess this won't be too hard for you. I guess you're just here to learn something new, so a new tip. So basically, we're just going to be making this play. So it's it's not hard, very simple. It's just a nice little nice little hello effect on the loop. Um, but yeah, it's it's yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a new composition. Now you can make this whatever size you want. I'm just going to go to file new or we can make a new you can you can make a new project, but I'm going to make a new composition because I've already got it in here. So if I go new composition, it's going to be called hello animation. There we go. And we're going to have this at a width of 1920 by 1080. That's standard for HD resolution. So if you want to use it on, like, I don't know, YouTube or whatever, you can use it. So that's about it. Now we can keep the frame rate at about that. That's pretty standard for After Effects. And we can change the duration to about five seconds because we're not going to need any more time than that. I've got it at three about 3.10 seconds on this one, so we'll just leave it at that. We have our little background here, so the first thing we're obviously going to need to do is make our type. So, to get your type, you get your text tool up in the top left here, and then we're just going to click in the middle. Same as Photoshop, it's very sim similar to Photoshop. Um, you're just literally just um, you, you're using the same tools, basically, guys. Uh, you just have to get used to the different layout of them. So if I just increase the size of this, and I'm just going to change the color to white. Now changing color is over on this right bit here with all your little panels. If you do not have that, you need to go to window and then click and open some of them. So obviously this one's called character, but it's already open up here. So you just need to click it and it will drop down here, okay? We've got our hello. Now I'm just going to make sure I've got these all in capitals so they're the same size, like that, there we go. Hello, and now I'm going to go to my align tool, which is here, click that, and I'm going to do that one and then that one. So now it's in the center of the design. So we've got our hello, pretty simple, all done. What we're gonna do now is duplicate this about four times and make some colors of it. So if you just duplicate this, actually no, sorry. First we're gonna, we're gonna make the animation. So we're gonna just click P on our keyboard and then as you can see down this bottom left, the position will have come up. So what you're gonna need to do is click your little stopwatch and then we're gonna just go down seven seven points so if we go one two three four five six seven holding shift and using your arrow key down seven times then we're going to go move forward to about there doesn't matter how far you it just depends on how quick you want it so we're going to go up seven one two three four five six seven then up another seven without moving it one two three four five six seven um and then we're going to go another one and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. So now we've got our points. Now if I just play this now, it's just going to go like that. Now this might be a bit quick. So if you want, you can move this along and we're just going to go about here. And then we're just going to put this one here. We're going to move him back into the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically we've got it in the start point. Now it's just going to go like this. See, it's very quick, very quick. We don't need it this quick, to be honest, um, but we can we can obviously extend it. Now, because I've got it on five seconds, the timeline will look really short and it will be a bit confusing. So if you drag your little bar here um, that I've just dragged here, this one, along to three seconds. Now we're just gonna spread these points out. So if I just drag and highlight over them, I'm gonna move this one to about one second. I'm gonna move these two to about two seconds. I'm gonna move the last one. Oh, undo that 
Going to move the last one to about three seconds. Now, if I play this again, it might be a bit slower. So something like that. Okay, so it's continuous. It just keeps going and it's pretty simple to do. What we need to do now is go over these. So highlight all your keyframes. Now these are called keyframes. Now I suggest if you don't know what keyframes are, you just go and watch a animation or After Effects basics on YouTube because it will just make life so much easier for you. Uh, so what you need to do is highlight all of these keyframes, right click on it, keyframe assistant, and then go to easy ease. So if you click that, this will just make the animation a lot smoother and just make it look a lot better basically. Uh, you will really be able to tell if you haven't done this because it, it just doesn't look very good. So we just need to make sure we've got that done. That's our simple animation done. Now, if you press U, that will close up the position bit. So just press U. Then we're just going to duplicate this four times. So Command D or uh, Control D on a Windows. And we're just going to one, two, three, four. Now, we've got our four different layers above the basic one. Now we're going to go to character on the right here and we're just going to change the color. So I'm going to go to a red and then for the first one, select the next one and I'm going to go to a probably a light blue and then the next one and then I'm going to change this to a yellow. Now this is really simple guys. It's not going to be really too hard. All you're doing is changing colors. So just pick whatever colors you want. Um, I'm just going to pick those colors and I'm going to move my bottom layer, which is going to be number the white one to the top right now you'll get where I'm coming from here so what we're going to do now is we are going to just highlight all of them uh, press P so it all opens up and then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the bottom four now you'll see what I'm doing now so if we move these along one two oh no not like that sorry uh, we just move them along to about 10 seconds see it just pops up afterwards so we don't want it to be too late so we're going to move it to about five seconds here then we're going to let go. Then we're going to highlight the next three. We're going to move them down to about 10 points here. And then we're just going to leave that one. Then we're going to highlight the bottom two. And then we're going to move it to 15. Then we're going to highlight the bottom one and move it to 20. So now let's just watch this and see what it does. See what I mean? Now that looks really good, doesn't it? Now the colors aren't great, but obviously you can pick what colors you want. Um, but yeah, it works is the main thing. So we can just extend this to where the keyframe ends, so about there, and we'll just play that now, and just let the animation run through, see, really nice. Now if you don't want it to them to come through later, like a dun 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 effect, you can just move it closer to the start, so I might just do that now really quickly, so just highlight them a little bit more and just move them a bit closer, so they're a bit like that, so now if I do that, see they come through a bit quicker, so. That's all that done guys, so basically we've we've done all that now, so what we need to do now is we need to uh, put these into a pre-composition and then we're going to offset each one of them. So what you're going to do, actually just real quick I'm going to change the colour of one of these because it's really bugging me that it's green, I don't like it. Um, which one is it? That was that one. Right, we're just going to change that to like a nice purple or something because the green just doesn't look very good. Uh, yeah, that looks better. The red is the red working? Or... Yeah, the red's work. Oh no, the red's not working anymore. No what have I done? Okay, the red's working now. So let's just go back to the green and we can change it to a purple now. Right. So what you're gonna do is drag over all of them like that, and then we're just gonna go right click and then go down to pre-composition. So pre-composition, name whatever, hello, whatever you want, done. Now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start of the playhead, so drag it to the start. We're going to duplicate this four times, uh, five times, because there's five layers. So four times, so there's five layers. One, two, three, four. Now we've got five hellos. Now what we're going to do is get our rectangle tool up here, and we're going to mask it out. So we've used masks in the poster design, so this shouldn't be anything new. Um, so basically what you're going to do is select your square with your layer selected, and you're just going to drag all the way from the top and down to the bottom, over the top like that. Now this one has a mask on it. So this is going to be our, our first one. Then we're going to select the next one. With our mask again, we're just going to drag down to the sides, like so. Just going to move this one uh, along a bit, like so. Not like that so much. Just make sure that you uh, get the whole letter in, otherwise it just won't look very good, sorry. So we've got that one done. So this one's going to be called E. So you can rename these by clicking enter and then it will come up with a like an um, 
enable you to rename it. So that's E. This one's going to be L. So we get our rectangle tool again. Drag from the top and just do a short little burst like that. There we go. Now just make sure you've got the whole letter in like that. Perfect. Uh, we're just going to name this L. So enter again. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Just going to go to this one. Click enter and then L. Then this one's going to be L2. So we're going to just select L2. Get our mouse layer again. Slowly pull a rectangle over the top of it. You know how we do it. So we can zoom in for this as well, just guys, so it makes it a little bit easier on you. And there we go. Lovely. And now we're going to go to our last one, which is going to be O. And we can just zoom out a little bit, get our rectangle tool, try and make sure that we've got it over the top. There we go. Now, guys, what we should have now is a nice little um, little transition thing that we've got going on. So let's just see if this works. So we can right click on this as well. And what we're going to need to do is go to time and then enable time remapping. So this is going to make sure that this mask actually works. So if we do this, what we're going to do is basically we're going to close them all of the layers up. So we've got them all like that. So just press U for that. Just highlight them all, press U, and it will close everything up. So what we're going to do is just bring number, uh, we're just going to leave that one there. Now I'm going to drag this one along a little bit. And then I'm going to drag this one along a little bit. I'm going to drag this one along a little bit, and then this one along a little bit as well. But what we're going to do is make sure that we've got them still there, so they're not moving yet. So this is what the time remapping lets you do. Now, as you can see, it, if you if you can do, I'll zoom in real close. But if you can see, there's like these little white lines going along it. So this means they're just going to stay in place until they need to move, until they're actually meant to move. So because we dragged them along, they will move where we've put them, but they'll still be in position until they need to move. So if I play this. As you can see, we've got a really nice simple animation. So that's pretty much it, guys. So what you need to do is make sure that you get the time remapping enabled and drag it back along so they stay in position until they need to move. And then basically you can make this nice simple hello animation. It's really not hard um, and it doesn't take too long to do. So hopefully, guys, that you, uh, you've enjoyed this and it, you've learned something from it. Uh, there's obviously it's obviously a lot to take in so just run the tutorial back and go back through it if I've missed anything out which I don't think I have let me know in the comments but just make sure you follow the steps and I'll make it I'll make it quite simple I'll put little stuff up on the screen to pop up and you know remind you what you need to do uh, but yeah it's it's really that simple you, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it uh, I don't think but yeah if you uh, have enjoyed the first at first animation video on the channel guys first animation so uh, we're, we're moving up in the world. We're not just doing posters no more. So hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you haven't, just well, just leave a dislike, I guess, uh, if you don't want to see more of this. But I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's something fun and new to learn for the channel instead of just doing posters because that does get boring and it gets boring for me. So I'm sure it gets boring for you guys. So basically, guys, this is the first animation video. And yeah. Uh, follow all the socials and let me know on Instagram or in the comments down below what you thought and I'll see you in the next video